Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix no bootable device found error on Dell laptop and others brand laptop. Many Windows users have been affected by an issue where their computers fail to start up and they are met with a black screen with an error message stating no bootable device. Found no matter how many times they try to start their computers up, this error message basically means that the affected computer was unable to gain access to the HDD and SSD that contains its boot information, or that it scanned all connected HDD and SSD for boot information, and did not find any. Here you can see in the screen press F1 key to boot tree try. You can press F1 key to retrieve the boot and recover the boot option, but it shows the same problem with pressing F1 key. Thereafter you can press F2 key for setup utility, and as soon as you press F2 key, your BIOS setup settings will open. After the BIOS settings come. When you first come to BIOS settings you go to boot sequence. After the boot sequence comes, you can see the boot list options in legacy mode and UE5 mode. You can see that the UE5 boot section in the boot sequence is not showing anything like hard drive. To fix the problem, first check which boot option you have selected, legacy mode or UE5 mode. My boot option UE5 mode is selected, you just select legacy boot mode. Your system supports legacy mode, but does not support UE5 mode UE5 mode is selected. The problem is showing no bootable device found when turning on the laptop. After enabling legacy mode, click the apply button. Then after you save all the settings, simply click the exit button. After clicking exit, your computer will restart. When your system restarts, the laptop will turn on again. Another way you can solve is go to BIOS settings go to boot sequence then click load. Defaults. After clicking load defaults a pop-up will open and click OK button. Thereafter click to exit button. After clicking exit, your computer will restart. When your system restarts, the laptop will turn on again. As soon as the laptop is turned on, you can see for yourself that you have taken the system boot. Then you can see for yourself that the system has booted without any problem. You can also fix the problem by watching the video in this way. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.